In the summer of 2014, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing Iggy Azalea's smash number one hit, Fancy. But these days, she's practically gone radio silent. What happened? Suffice to say, there was a whole lot of drama. Scandalous tape? Azalea faced her first of many public woes in September 2014, when reports broke that a secret, intimate tape featuring the Australian-born rapper was being shopped around. One of the interested buyers was supposedly the company that distributed Kim Kardashian's now infamous video, so there's a clue as to what may have been on it. The tape thief turned out to be Azalea's ex-boyfriend, who also wanted the rights to music she had recorded before hitting it big. I think that's particularly insane. Thus began a long legal battle that was not settled until July 2015, when, according to TMZ, Azalea agreed to pay him a relatively small sum of money. Big Time Beef As Fancy ascended to the top of the charts, Azalea began to receive flack from members of the hip-hop community. Among those who came down the hardest was rapper Azalea Banks, who took major issue with the four Grammy nominations Azalea received in December 2014. When they give these Grammys out, all it says to white kids is like, oh yeah, you're great, you're amazing, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And it says to black kids, you don't have Azalea later responded to Banks' interview in a series of angry tweets, writing, Special message for Banks, there are many black artists succeeding in all genres. The reason you haven't is because of your poor attitude. Azalea's former publicist Brian Scully claimed in a revealing blog post that Azalea and her original management team planned for her to not respond directly and to act gracious when asked about the Banks feud in interviews. But he claims that after finding new management, Azalea's approach to any beef seemed to switch from, quote, take the high road to jump in the mud pit. Ever since, Azalea's feuding seems to be her new normal. On a positive note, Azalea and Banks apparently made up in July 2017 and even agreed to collaborate on a song for Iggy's long-awaited second album, Digital Distortion. On a not-so-positive note, the collaboration hasn't seen the light of day. <laughs> Ticket Trouble Back when she was still feuding with Banks, Iggy Azalea announced her first arena tour, slated to launch in April 2015. But just weeks before she was supposed to hit the road, Azalea postponed the tour until the fall of that year, amid rumors that she was being difficult with her management team and refusing to promote the tour. Then in May, Azalea canceled the tour altogether, telling her fans she'd be back on the road after finishing her second album. Sources for Billboard claimed poor ticket sales factored into the tour's cancellation, with some venues reporting just 20% of tickets sold. Those reports were later denied by concert promoter AEG Live. Britney fans Never one to avoid a heated debate over Twitter, Azalea enraged fans of Britney Spears, and possibly Spears herself, after she seemingly accused Spears of being the reason their joint single Pretty Girls flopped on the charts. When a follower mentioned that the single had bombed, Azalea tweeted, It's difficult to send a song up the charts without additional promo and TV performances, etc. Unfortunately, I'm just featured. The following day, Spears appeared to tweet out a jab at both Azalea and her cancelled tour, writing, Can't wait to get back to Vegas. So thankful I have shows for the rest of the year to look forward to. Hashtag you want a piece of me. Baby Mama Drama Azalea's personal problems collided with her career when her engagement to NBA star Nick Young exploded after Young impregnated his ex-girlfriend while engaged to Azalea. Speaking with people about it, Azalea cited the breakup as the reason her highly anticipated sophomore effort, then titled Digital Distortion, was delayed. She explained that once she was out of the relationship, she wanted her songs to reflect her single life, adding, I obviously didn't write that on my original album because when I wrote it, I was about to get married. I don't want to go and promote my album and get asked about my relationship that has just crumbled. Album in Limbo the road to release for Digital Distortion, Azalea's shelved second album, has been as complicated as the rest of her career. She teased its release in 2016. Years later, the album is still nowhere to be found. By November 2017, Azalea put out four new songs to promote it, none of which have charted. On top of all of that, Azalea revealed on Twitter that the album name is now Surviving the Summer. Hopefully, renaming the project that fans have been waiting years for isn't yet another professional misstep for Azalea. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.